Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we have the iPhone SE on the left and the iPhone 7 Plus on the right. Now, both of these devices are the oldest iPhones to support iOS 13 and Apple just released iOS 13.2 to the public today alongside the brand new AirPods Pro. So uh, I just want to run a really quick speed test comparing both of these devices just to see where the performance of both these devices lie, whether they've degraded or they still hold up pretty well. Uh, for 13.2 so just confirm we are on iOS 13.2 there we are that's on the 7 plus and on the SE this is 13.2 and we do not have any applications in the background just settings so let's just begin with the music can okay, just give them a second that's there goes the SE it's 7 plus Let's try radio as well. All right, the same. Let's try the App Store. That is the SE. The iPhone SE is still really nice and snappy, and that's really nice. 7 Plus. Again, that is the 7 Plus. Let's try weather. The 7 Plus. Let's try YouTube. Pretty much the same. Let's go to Safari, YouTube, absolutely the same. Google, same. Let's try another website. Pretty much the same. So I'm really happy to see that the SE is still holding up pretty well. It's almost neck and neck with the 7 Plus. Now, obviously, the 7 Plus is going to pull ahead. In a few instances given that it has a slightly more powerful chip but the SE is still hanging in there and in some instances does kind of pull ahead so that's really nice to see Apple has done a really good job in terms of optimizing iOS I have to say let's try Instagram really not that bad fantastic music again Safari YouTube, let's see if you have any reloads anywhere. Instagram, still open. The App Store, still open. Weather, still open. And settings, so no issues with RAM management. Everything seems to open pretty nice and quick. Let's try the cameras on the lock screen. The 7 Plus, a slight delay. Let's try it again. Switch between modes. Again, slight delay on the 7 Plus. On the SE as well. But really not that bad. So overall guys, I have to say that both of these, both of these devices are performing pretty well on 13.2. I have been running the betas on both of them. Uh, so I, I have to say that uh, during my time with 13.2 uh, in betas, both of them were doing extremely well. And uh, the only issue I had with the 7 Plus using the beta was with Twitter. Twitter constantly had issues reloading new tweets and also start loading up content on new tweets was still kind of sluggish. That's the only issue I had regarding uh, Twitter. Otherwise, uh, iOS 13.2 was uh, performing really well on both these devices. And I'm really happy to report overall. Uh, it's, a very, it's been a pretty positive experience using 13.2 on both these devices. Now in terms of battery life as well, I've got quite decent battery life. 7 Plus uh, could get me about four hours in the past 10 days and the SE about two. Uh, not that great, but given that it was a beta, still pretty good. Also no RAM management issues and things like no connectivity issues. I could easily switch between Wi-Fi and cellular and no really no catastrophic issues at all. And um, uh, also, if you guys are planning on picking up those AirPods Pro, you will need to update to 13.2 in order to pair them to your iPhone. So make sure you do that. But overall, guys, if you were on the fence thinking uh, of whether you should or, or should not update to 13.2 on your old 7 Plus or the SE, I really don't think you have to hold out anymore because both of these devices do perform really well. And uh, it would be a good choice for you to update 
as you can still have the latest version of iOS and also the fact that 13.2 really does patch a lot of those bugs that we have encountered on 13.1.2. So that's it guys, just a quick video, a quick uh, speed test with, uh, of the oldest devices that support iOS 13.2, the SE and the 7 Plus. If you did like the video, hit that like button and that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.